you can go back to a killer quote from Stan Turnham when he was manager, when he said that, and it's never probably never been more true, which is that if you kick one person in Burnley, the whole town limps. It's very, very difficult for me to imagine Burnley without Burnley Football Club because I think it's central to so many things and, and you know, with the money that's gone into the club with the football in the community, etc. You know, you know it, it's like the central hub for a lot of things within the town. In 1987, you know, Ian Britton scored the goal that kept us up. Uh, we could have gone out of the league. God knows what would have happened then. I really don't know. But this club has always been the central light for everything there's not many clubs like Burnley and towns like Burnley that everybody within the town supports the club. You know, I mean, a lot of people that I know worked in factories, you know, in sort of like medial jobs. What, what they had to do, you know, and, and I also played for Barnsley for a couple of years and I watched the decline, all the pits had closed down. We used to get 100 people watching us train at Barnsley because the pits had shut down and, and they couldn't get a job, they had nothing to do. I wouldn't say poverty, certainly wouldn't say that, but certainly, you know, we had the Burnley riots and one thing or another, you know, where the town's not been seen uh, in a good light. Just briefly going back to Hull, not everybody was into football, you've got your rugby fans, you know, uh, whereas with Burnley, it's just Burnley Football Club. I mean, if you look at fans per ratio, size of the town, I think we're, we're right up there, you know. A lot of people in their daily life pass by the main road outside this football club and just a number of honking horns you hear outside when you win a game. Silly things like that just tell you how how linked the town is to the club. I think the Europa League without a doubt put us more on the football, but not put us more, put us back on the football in that because of course we've been in Europe before. But it's a, it's a long time since this little mill town has been on that international stage. I think that the whole place said it earlier, I think there'd be a lot poorer a town without this as a hub. And not just the football club, by the way. Very much, got to mention Neil Hart in this, the community department. Because since he was appointed at the club, he was almost an important a signing as Sean Dyche was off the pitch. Because he has grown a community department. When I was here in 2006, it was a community department of half a dozen people trying to get out into the community, which is impossible. They, were, they employ about 120 people now. They're embedded in every school in the area they're helping industries you know they're, they're, they're running mental health classes they're running kids soccer schools they're they're doing dance classes they're doing bingo lessons for old people they're, they they just have every aspect of the community under one blanket that comes under burnley football club in the community and that has the badge on it you just sense it when you come into burnley that it's a town that the football club is very much the heartbeat of the town i.e when we do well and we get to the premier league we know for a fact productivity in the town goes up. We know, just being around the place, the, the mood in the camp. I think it would, be a, it would be a much poorer town, economically and socially, without the football club. It reconnects people with the town.